War makes monsters of us all. That is one of the central themes to the Poppy War trilogy. At least when I read it, that is one of the main takeaways I got from this series. The Poppy War is a 2018 novel by R.F. Kuang. It is followed by Dragon Republic and The Burning God. They are a grimdark fantasy trilogy loosely based on the Second Sino-Japanese War, or as uh, white Americans like myself might better know it, uh, the conflict that was taking place before we got involved in World War II between Japan and China. The main plot of the Poppy War follows Rin, a young girl who joins the military in order to escape the arranged marriage her family has tried to put her in. Or I should say her adopted family as she was orphaned during the last Poppy War. And this series follows her as she rises through the ranks of the different military groups and factions that she joins and the tumultuous relationship that comes of this kind of conflict. There is no one person who is right or one person who is wrong in this case. Everyone has something that they are trying to gain, something they are trying to escape. Some people just want to kill and rage and destroy. There are some people who truly do want to try and make this world a better place and believe that the only way they can achieve that is through conflict. A lot of people just want to keep their family and friends safe. There are people that just want to hold this country together no matter what it takes. And there are those that wish to destroy it. These books are very well written. They are very entertaining and it's very easy to see where a lot of these characters are coming from in their logic and how they act and what they do in certain scenarios. Even if, as an outsider, you can say, hey, that's probably not the best idea, you can understand why certain characters would choose specific actions over others. And you can understand where the main characters descent into almost insanity also comes from. These books deal with a lot. Being based off certain early parts of World War II, including the attack on Nanking, you can see where a lot of these characters' rage and anger would come from. Rin specifically, after witnessing the destruction of Golanese, she adopts this almost I must destroy mentality, specifically about the Mugenese forces. And she will stop at nothing to kill all of them, to the detriment of everyone else around her. She becomes very determined to just kill. It makes sense in the context. She's lost friends, her entire family, to this invading army. And so her stopping at nothing to kill them, to her, it's almost a personal revenge, where she sees it as a personal attack against her that these forces have done specific actions against those she loves. And then in the second book, she views the side that she's fighting for while she, at least in her mind, on some level, does kind of believe in what she's fighting for. She wants to instate a democracy and like lead the world kind of into a better place at least through her view she still ends up doing this solely for revenge but against a different person because of information that she's learned but the information that she's learned isn't necessarily 100 correct and it's again a very one-sided view and then again in the third book she all rin wants is personal revenge and to destroy everyone she has viewed that has personally wronged her. She claims she is fighting for these bigger ideals, wanting to set the world right, reinstate whatever form of government she believes. This is the right thing to do because this is going to cause the least amount of death. I'm trying to save everyone. These are justifications that she makes in her mind. Everything. Rin does is predicated on a personal want for revenge and to destroy those she views as has wronged her. 
after the events of the first book. She develops an addiction to opium. She overcomes that, and by the end of the third book, she becomes increasingly paranoid as to if people are trying to betray her, what's going on? Why is this person doing this specific thing? It is absolutely fascinating to watch this kind of descent, but at the same time, it is sad. These books don't have a happy ending. I don't want to spoil exactly how the series ends, but if you go into the series expecting the end of these books to be hunky-dory, everyone's alive, you're wrong. Even by the end of the first book, there is so much death, sadness, and destruction that is caused by everyone that this series doesn't have what many would consider a happy ending. It's a good ending. It ends very well but it's not happy. The only people I view as coming out ahead or winning in this conflict are the people who get out. There's multiple characters who at one point or another just decide they don't want to fight anymore. They're done. They don't want to be in this conflict and so they just leave. They stay out of the conflict. And while their life may not be easy after that, and a lot of them we don't see because, again, we're following Rin this entire time, they're the only ones that I view as coming out ahead. They are alive. They have what could be considered a good life by whoever's metrics you are viewing it. And they don't have to fight the way others do. This might be a book series where people can summon gods and use their magnificent powers to their own advances, but when they use the gods' powers, they lose a bit of themselves. They lose a part of who they are to the god, and eventually that god can wrest full control of them away. They will lose who they are at that point, and they've just become a vessel. We see this happen with a character named Thalen. We see him fully taken over by this god. He is lost in absolute madness and destruction, and he's a part of a group that only uses their powers for combat and uses their powers often. The outlook of this series is not good. Everyone who fights all of the conflict, everything, is viewed as not a good thing. When the characters that I would consider to be ahead of everyone are the ones who decided that they didn't want to be a part of the conflict, I think that says something about how R.F. Kuang kind of views war. It is unnecessary. It doesn't actually help anyone. 90% of the people are just going to feel alienated and hurt no matter who ends up in charge because of the destruction of everything around them. And those at the top, the ones that have to do the fighting directly, are going to lose massive parts of themselves in an effort to just remain alive. And even if they do survive, they will have lost enough of themselves that they will no longer recognize who they are. Do I recommend The Poppy War to read? Yes. It is a fantastic trilogy with a lot of fun characters and incredibly well written. And I think people who do enjoy grimdark fantasy will enjoy these books. But I think that the deeper meaning of this series should be looked at. There's no real good people Everyone has an agenda, everyone is just trying to survive. Those who truly win are the ones who got out. <sighs> this is a bit of a different format video that I kind of want to start doing just so that I do make more videos or content in general. It's just something I want to try. I've been having trouble making videos recently just in terms of Every time I filmed for the past like six months or so, something's felt wrong. And so it's been hard for me to want to do anything. But when I finished Poppy War, I felt compelled to make some kind of video, but I didn't know how. I didn't want to do just a typical review. People have done reviews of the Poppy War already. You can find brilliant ones online. 
So I kind of wanted to do kind of my thoughts on some of the deeper themes and meanings of the book, but in kind of my own weird little off the top of my head rambly thoughts on it. I do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you sat through this weird experiment video that I'm trying to do, if you sat all the way through, you probably enjoyed this video. Uh, and I do have plenty more if you want to check those out. If you'd like to follow me on any of my socials, links to all of those are going to be in the description down below as always. But that is all that I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from me and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hope this video actually turns out unlike some of my others.